Jojo has fun. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Jojo has fun. Some more bayonetta action. All right, we're gonna go into this door. It's responding to my witch's power. Whatever oh my that means. God. Oh yeah, I can punch the door. Fuck yes. Do you want to guess how many steps I have for the whole day? Twenty. Five hundred. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you've been sitting on your ass playing video games with your good friends. It does so. not make me feel better, no. Oh, okay. It makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm averaging like 14 to 16,000 steps a day, but today I have 500. Well. That's bringing down the average. You have a whole day, Pick it up. though. That's a way too big a key. What is going on there? It's to the city. I don't think when you get a key to the city, it's like a real key. I think that's like a. I find that to be bullshit then. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Bad guys. Oh, I'm fighting with the key. Whoa. Yes. All right. Use that key. Something about penetration, I guess. Yeah, something, something, penetration. Good job. Something, something. Way to mail it in. Something, something. Um, the. I'm gonna go with patriarchy. Something, something. Uh, Tumblr. Who dis? I don't know. Check that. Oh, ones in pieces. It's been destroyed as a fit of rage by a deeply held grudge. Oh. Oh no. Well. Wicked weave techniques. Use your hair as a conduit to summon forth demonic entities. Connect these techniques to punch or kick combos for devastating finish. So that's what I mean. Look. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Great hip bones. Good job. I mean, she's fit. She looks out. Yes. Yes. Everything's going okay for me now. Shit. I want to get hit by those. Fuck, he hit me, bastard. But yeah, coffee cups peeing in them. Yeah, coffee no, cans. pee in like a, but a, those like big, those big peanut cans. Like for, um, like planners? Yeah, like planners. Huh. But the thing is, I just, I don't know, I just would like, you could just like pull over and pee outside, but I get... I get the whole, like, driving with somebody who doesn't want to stop thing. Yeah, if I'm driving with someone who doesn't want to stop, like, I'm the one who's driving, so fuck them. Yeah, but the thing is, I just, I think that the whole trip would be more enjoyable if we weren't driving around with a vessel of my pee. Well, you can just dump it out the window. It, it's too, no. Just pull over and let me pee on the side of the road like an adult. <laughs> you know the thing, though, is, like, I never... Maybe this happens to you, but I, I never want to pee until, like, I know I have no choice. Oh, yeah. You want to go as far as possible. Uh, Dodging lightning? What? What does that mean? Oh, shit. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, cool. That was tough. There you go. Got it. You got the green laurel. Whatever that does. Boom. Yeah, Japan's makes some pretty, pretty crazy games. This is one of them. And I love it so, but it is pretty crazy. It is, yeah. Did I tell you about the Persona series? No, go on. Persona series your teenagers who fight against evil and most of the games are pretty cool and they caught flack for Persona 3 because in Persona 3 you summon monsters by shooting yourself in the head. Oh yeah, I can see that would really trouble people. Yes, yes. It was, uh, you know what sucks is that game fucking great. Yeah? Like a great game. Like 10 out of 10, like, comment, subscribe. So good. Very long. It's oh, like, see, it's I like need, reading the fucking Odyssey. It's, I need like forever. I need like ten hours of gameplay, no more. Like I'm actually like I don't really know what I want to do with Zelda anymore because I've done all the little quests and I don't have any interest in the big quests. There's, yeah, well that that's interesting you bring that up because Zelda is one of those games where it's like what's cool about that game is just wandering around. Yeah, and the discovery. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you've kind of done that, it's like well I guess I'll just beat the game because yeah. that's it. I mean I guess I want to be done. You know. 
but I, a lot of stuff in that game I still think about now is like that's going to change the way I think about games in the future. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, they it, it really forces you to puzzle, like to do puzzle work and you get better at it as you go. Yeah, yeah, you start thinking like, okay, I yeah. know how to approach this. Yeah, like when I first started doing all the shrines, like I would look everything up and I really don't have to do that anymore. Right. Um, because I know I've it, like trained me properly. It's like I'm the cat Reaching out for the tree, exactly, so that you high five. No, you're absolutely right because yeah. the game actually is like, here's here's how you play me. Here's yeah. what you do here's in the order tree. to figure exactly. Put your exactly. hand out and then do it, and, and you do it enough times, and then you high five. And that's what makes games good is when they kind of like, here's the stuff. It's gonna be just this for most of it, and in different different combinations and patterns, and then you're just like, all right, I can get with that jam. I can explore. And yeah, look at yeah, no, and it just like you just you do, you have this like feeling of accomplishment that's like totally superimposed because yeah, they told you how to do it. Yeah, but even so, you're like, I figured it out. Yeah, I got this myself. Yeah, it's the only game that I was like, I cannot look anything up on this game because yeah. if I do, I will fucking ruin what the game's about. Yeah, you gotta yeah. learn. Ugh. Breath of the Wild makes its way into many playthroughs and many things I do now. <laughs> Talk about it all the time. <laughs> dude fucking getting the master sword yeah how fucking epic was that it's rough dude because you die as you try to pick it up yeah yeah so badass and you like can't you just use your green hearts like you ha they have to have like enough heart containers so i can go to the gates of hell which is That'll a bar nice. and i go uh, there to get um goodies these boots are made for walking oh my god that's what they're Nancy doing. Nancy Sinatra, no. Look how she walks. It's like like an X. It's Nancy ridiculous. Nancy Sinatra follows me on Twitter. No way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Does she follow lots of people on yeah. Twitter? Yeah, she does. Oh, I thought you'd start like tweeting directly at Nancy Sinatra. I, I did a little bit. Was she kidnapped? No, that wasn't Nancy Sinatra. That was... You were thinking of the um, the media woman. The pay, Pat, uh, Her Patty Hearst. I'm thinking of Patty Hearst. I am? I think so. Yeah, she still follows me. I can't afford that. She's a mom, grandma, singer, DJ, actor, author, NRDC activist, ALCU, SAG. She's got a lot of shit going on. Wow, actually, yeah, that is yeah. a lot of shit. Good for her. That's awesome. Ooh, let's do. Oh, oh. Uh, so this just in. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to get. No, we're not going to talk about politics because in a week it'll all be different. <laughs> I'm Aww, sorry. That person loves chicks and it's adorable penguins. Aww. I don't have anything negative to say about penguins. How could you? They're I don't cute. know. I have a lot of negative stuff to say about otters. Well, yeah, otters. I've, I've heard your bit on otters. Yeah, they're not. They're not as good as you think they are. They're not. They are pretty fucked up. Yeah, they are. Oh, shit. Rings like koalas, not also not great. Koalas are fucking vicious. They are very thing. vicious, and they all have chlamydia. I watched a documentary on them. Wait, yeah, hella what? chlamydia. Yeah, all, all. Uh, what? Explain. I, I don't know how I could possibly make that more clear. They have like human chlamydia. No, they have fucking koala chlam chlamydia. What's wrong with you? Koalmidia. <laughs> how do they know? Do they get tested? They get tested. There's a there's a koala later on in like her life. Like it makes them like infertile. Koalas? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Well, that it's the same thing with like sucks. cat herpes. Where like so many cats have herpes. My cats have herpes. Yeah, my def my cats definitely have herpes too. Yeah, it just flares. It's like it. HPV. It's really hard not to get. <laughs> I don't think I have HPV. I don't think I do either, but I'm pretty sure that that's what everybody thinks. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, like I only bang the one person. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't it? I don't know. How can you get HPV? Uh, I'd have to Google it. You're supposed to get vaccinated against it, but like... Three the, times. The, the problem, yeah, the problem is that it's a three-time vaccination, and you're supposed to get vaccinated when you're like... Like, the vaccination came out when I was like a teenager. Yeah, right? And, and they were like... And the problem was that you're supposed to get vaccinated when you're like eight or nine years old, and parents are like, well, I'm not going to vaccinate my daughter because they're not gonna be she's never going to have sex ever. Which is a fucking um, idiotic. And then you can vaccinate boys, but parents are like, well, why do I care? My boy is not going to get HPV um, because he's a boy. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, and so it's people are fucking bullshit. assholes. It's the, I, I don't know. And so, yeah, and the problem is that parents didn't understand that, like, 
you can't get a little bit vaccinated for HPV. You have you to get like the whole 100% thing, yeah. vaccinated or it doesn't work. It's like it's and like so they do like the first basically. round and then the kids like I don't want to get a shot. I'm going to fight you on this. I just promise just to like, never well, have sex again. And then just get you McDonald's and yeah. then you don't talk. And yeah. then you'll get HPV and then you get HPV, someone's yeah. Life. Well, yeah, and it just makes you infertile, which is like a major problem. And you get cervical cancer. That's an even huger problem. Yeah, lots of people die from cervical cancer. And the fact that is it's like totally preventable if you don't have HPV. Um, so but like we just don't vaccinate our children because of something that Jenny McCarthy said. <laughs> and that sucks because like, yeah. I mean, I want to like Jenny Of McCarthy. all of the people. No, you don't. Of all the I people know. who deserve to have HPV. <laughs> who probably have HPV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're telling me that Jenny McCarthy got where she was without HPV? <laughs> that didn't, no. She, <laughs> she would have some massive antibodies that we need to talk about. <laughs> Are you telling me that HPV is, like, not a problem? Because I just, like, bathe in, in the blood of the Everyone, innocent. It cures yeah. me. Oh, my God. I'm really fucking this up. Come on, Bayonetta. I'm sorry. Don't mean to fuck yeah, this the up. the hair kicking with the silhouette boot—that's something. You don't care for that? No. Well, I just—it's weird. It's a weird thing. She basically like there's a there's like a devil. Like the devil is like a chick, and so when Bayonetta fights, she like summons her a little bit. I think. It's really I just cool. don't. I think the thing that bothers me is that, like, if this was a male character, he would not be all ass and dick, you know? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. The uh, because like, there, it's not but that that's I... the thing. There is a male analog character to Bayonetta. His name is Dante. He's the star yeah. of the Devil May Cry series. These the, these two games are and like. He just has like hella gams. Uh, we can look him up actually. Like, look up Dante Devil May Cry. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's the... He's the... What should be, like... It's supposed to be that Bayonetta is the female Dante, but I'm sorry. Dante is the male Bayonetta. Because she's a much cooler, more interesting character. So he has abs. Yeah. I can appreciate that. But he also wears like a fucking trench coat. Yeah. A big red trench coat. And it's like, look at this fucking angel, dude. I'm just destroying it. Climax. Okay, I get it. Her clothes came off. Right. And they turned into that demon. Kill him? Yep. Cut him in half with, with the demon mouth. Yep. Bayonetta. The game of games. I bet you Dante doesn't do that. No, he does not. No. He does not. However, I will be completely honest. Dante is uh, fucking boring. He's just boring. Like, I find Bayonetta to actually be interesting as a character. And like the shit she does. You know? I really just like that a lot of these, like the main thing with uh, with characters and games is their. I just don't like the revenge plot because I don't care. Oh yeah. I don't. I yeah. Any revenge plot, I'm like, eh. Kind of checked out. Yeah, like I'm okay with like trying to find somebody. Like that's fine for me. Oh yeah, that's always good. Wow. I just vaporized that guy. Oh. Yeah, the revenge plot's pretty typical in games. Um, what's the other one? 90s movies. 90s movies. <laughs> rescue the Rescue the princess is pretty yeah. common. I'm okay with rescue the princess or, you know, find. MacGuffin finding is huge in video games. Like, let's find this one mystic thing. Yeah. Um, super common. Uh, you are the chosen one on an epic quest. That's a common one. Yeah. Yeah. This one is a little bit of that. Oh, shit. It's the past. You can what tell because the guns doing? are different. Oh, shit. Next time on JoJo has fun, we're going to fight that big guy. What? Whatever he is. Okay. Yeah. 